UFO reports fall under different classes in MUFART. The most weird class of UFO are Class A UFO reports. Those are UFO reports that are so inexplicable that you can't understand what they are. A perfect example is the weird lights seen in Bridgewater, Massachusetts last year. Someone was filming out the attic window of their house and saw these. And these lights were changing shape and changing configuration. And there were lights at different positions appearing and disappearing and moving around. And they, the whole thing was moving across the sky. And there's just no way you can explain this as any kind of mundane phenomena. It's just so weird that it can't be explained as anything like that. That's a Class A UFO report. Another one on Nantucket was similar where someone saw something like an airplane light fall from the sky and then jump up in the sky later on at a ridiculous speed. These are just so weird they can't be anything that we make. There was another Class A report earlier this month where someone in Boston saw a white light move through the sky in a very erratic way, just like going all sorts of crazy things like that at that speed and that distance traveled and doing all sorts of crazy maneuvers. Those are Class A reports. They're extremely rare and they're extremely weird. Those are the ones we're all interested in, but unfortunately they're so rare that it's almost unlikely that you'll ever even film one of these. And I've never filmed a single Class A report ever. They're that rare. I've done a few Class B reports. Class B UFOs aren't nearly as weird as Class A, yet they're still quite mysterious. And at this point, you really don't know what they could be, but they're not as strange as Class A. They don't behave as weirdly, but they still behave quite weirdly in themselves. They'll do things like strange maneuvers. They'll appear and disappear. They'll do stuff like that. I've filmed two to three Class B reports over the years. Then we get to Class C. Class C is just a little odd, but it's not really, really weird. Class C reports are very common around here. I've filmed dozens of Class C reports. Those are the most common UFOs seen around here. These ones are very, very um, strange and odd, but they're not mysterious in any way. There's still the possibility that there's something mundane that could explain these. These are not so weird that you can't say that these are something mundane. So, there's a lot of different kinds of UFO reports that fit this category. Um, things like the star-like UFOs, minus the one in February earlier this year, are all Class C's because they could technically still be stars. The atmosphere could mess up and you could see things in a slightly different position due to atmospheric turbulence. So just because you don't see a star in a certain position doesn't immediately rule it out 100% that it's not a star. Or that it is a star, I mean. It doesn't rule out the possibility of it being a star. Glass C reports are very, very, very common. They're the most common UFO reports. A lot of these are just strange lights in the sky that people can't identify. But of course, they could be very identifiable to someone who knows what they are. But they're odd, but they're just not so mysterious you can't understand what they are. Class D and E reports are clearly things that are identifiable. The difference between them is that Class E is something that everybody should know what it is but the one person who sees them is not aware of what it is. These are people mistaking stars for UFOs, planets for UFOs. And it's really obvious that that's what they are. Anyone who knows what a star or planet looks like would not see this as a UFO. But people who didn't um, see, people don't know what they are actually mistake them for UFOs all the time because they're simply things that are easily explainable if you know what to look for, if you educate yourself on what to look for for different things in the sky, satellites, stars, planes, like I have, you'd know right away what these things are. Class D reports are simply Class E reports under strange circumstances that's pretty obvious to tell they're really just mundane things. 
but they're just a little bit weird because of other factors like atmospheric turbulence. I have seen a lot of these. Now we get to Class F reports. These are things where people mistake something very obvious and mundane for a UFO. Something like looking at a helicopter, all right, and not knowing it's a helicopter. It has to be something that you, you know right away. It's something you have to, it's something that you, you think is a UFO at first, but isn't a UFO at all. It's like, it's hard to explain. It's more mundane than a class E report. So those are the five classes of UFO reports Mufart uses. I usually debunk things that I see as a class E or F report right away. Because I'm that knowledgeable and what I'm looking at, I question everything. What is that? That's the first thing that goes into my head. I don't say UFO, and that's why I don't um, mistake you things for UFOs a lot. But when I do, it's definitely a class F, because that's what a, a class F is. Um, have there been things that, um, that I've mistaken for UFOs? And then later on, figured out they're not UFOs? Yes. Reflections off a nearby house caused a lot of this. Uh, especially them. I used to mistake them for UFOs. They were simply reflections. That's a Class E UFO report. So yeah, I want to briefly go into the classes of UFO reports. I, this is just something I invented right now, actually. It's not something I ever really used till now. But I'm going to mention which class each UFO is from now on. It's just a new system that MUFART's going to use. So that's just info on that. So kind of long video, but I felt like doing it.